Hi guys, I hope you're well. So I'm going to show you how to do this really simple summer makeup look, which will last you all day and it's really quick and easy to do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already but you'd like to do so, then definitely click on the link above and it'll take you straight to my homepage where you can check out all my hair and makeup videos. Now because the sun has finally arrived, thank goodness for that, <laughs> I'm not sure how long it's here for, I'm going to be using my City Block from Clinique, first of all, as like an underlayer to the rest of my makeup. This is 25 SPF but you can get it higher. Normally I wear a hat as well so that I'm always protecting my face from the sun, but I'm going to put this on as well just in case that any when he doesn't wear a hat, always put some city block on and this is a brilliant one to use. Before you put this on, always give it a bit of a shake. I've actually done a video all about this city block just because I think it's so good. It really does stop you from getting spots and really protects your skin. From SA Lord, I'm just using my stone place eyeshadow base over my eyelids. I'm loving it at the moment because I love tennis and Wimbledon is on here in London. I'm actually going to Wimbledon twice this week. It's quite good because I go with my boyfriend's centre court. We'll watch a bit of tennis, you know, whereas I go with my friends and we basically just spend most of the day in the Wimbledon shop. <laughs> Particularly when you're doing a summer look, it's good to get this eyeshadow base on because not only does it make the eyeshadow colour pop, if you're anything like me, when it's summer, I do get quite like oily skin. Eyeshadows can tend to slip off my eyelids during the day, so it's good to have a base for them to grip onto. From MAC, I'm using Antiqued eyeshadow. I'm loving Antiqued at the moment. This is like a really lovely kind of like copper brown. It's good, it kind of makes all eye colours stand up. So just really pat that into your eyelid. Then I'm just using my blender brush just to really blend that eyeshadow out. From Clinique, I'm using my number two airbrush concealer. This look is gonna be really quick and simple. So it's lovely for the summer. It's a really kind of fresh, fun look, but it won't take too long to achieve. I don't know about you, but when it's sunny, I really can't bother to put my makeup on. You wanna be outside enjoying the sunshine, don't you? Because we don't get much of it here in London. <laughs> With the antiques, I'm just going under my low waterline. You just go as much as you like, really, with this. And then I'm just going to blend again the corners. I'm going to come back to my eyes later, but I'm going to use my Vitaline Miss Chanel foundation. This is a lovely foundation because it's nice and light, and this kind of gives you a lovely, like, natural dewy look as well. I'm actually mixing number 50 and number 30 in the Chanel foundations because I've got a bit of a tan on my arms and legs. I've been playing quite a bit of tennis at the moment because we've got our club summer tournament. I've been a member at the club for about a year now. And I love it, I've made some really good friends. I normally mix my foundations just because basically it's quite rare that someone would be one shade of foundation. From my Bobbi Brown concealer palette, I'm just going to conceal some of my spots over the top of the foundation. Moment, I've got major breakouts. Not sure why. Often you find when you're putting on foundation, you can wipe off any concealer you put underneath. So if you feel you need to layer up, do. And I'm layering up because basically I've got my tennis match tonight. Doubles partner Sophie and I, we've got our outfits. I'm doing black top, white skirt, and she's doing white top, black skirt. I know it's very important. <laughs> All the gear, no idea, comes into mind. <laughs> as long as we look alright, we don't care if we win or not. <laughs> no, we do. I'm very competitive. From number seven, I'm using my beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil just to fill in the old brows. I've worn this look quite a lot actually, and I will wear it to my tennis match. And you know what? It normally lasts. So if it lasts when I get into big red sweaty mess when I'm running around then it will last for anyone during a summer's day. <laughs> At this point I'm going to go back to my eyes I'm just going to use my Black Smolder Eye Curl from MAC. And I'm just going to go along my upper and lower waterline. It's a good one if it is a hot day because you're lining your eye, but you don't have to worry about your eye line transferring onto your eyelid if suddenly you do get a bit hot and sweaty. I'm then just going to put on my Volume de Chanel mascara. Now I'm going to use my Medium Dark Blot Powder from MAC and I'm just going to ever so slightly kind of set some of this look. Only my T-zone, because you want that dewy look but you don't want to slide off your face when it kind of gets hot later. Well, not it's going to get that hot in England, but <laughs> sometimes, here's hoping. Then from Estee Lauder, I'm using my Bronze Goddess bronzer. Just do a little bit of contouring. And then from this look, I'm using my favourite Honey Love lipstick. This is my everyday lipstick. Then from Bias Hair, I'm just going to use my really lovely Sun Designer palette. And I'm just going to take a little sweep, just on the apples of my cheeks. So that makeup look really could not be more simple and all I'm going to take for the rest of the day is my lipstick and my eye curl just to top up inside the waterline and apart from that it will last you all day. If you have enjoyed my video please click like and subscribe to my channel Carla Marie Makeup where you can check out all my other hair and makeup videos and you can also follow me on Twitter at Carla Bates One. See you all soon.